di-pi-methane rearrangement involves two pi bonds and an sp3 hybridized carbon. That's the methane in the name. It's a slight misnomer. The sp3 hybridized carbon lies in between the two pi bonds. With light, one of the alkenes here is excited and one of its electrons in the pi bond goes to the higher energy pi star antibonding orbital. Now the pi bond is replaced with a di radical, with each of the radicals on one of the carbons previously attached through the pi bond. The other alkene pi bond is homogeneously broken, with one of the electrons interacting with one of the radicals to generate a cyclopropane, whilst the other electron gives a radical on the other carbon. One of the sigma single bonds of the cyclopropane that contains more substituted carbon is homogeneously broken, and one of its electrons makes a new pi double bond with a radical, whilst the other provides a radical on the more substituted carbon. Finally, the remaining two radicals come together to form a new sigma single bond to give another cyclopropane. 